foolish boy. This is the fabled land of Ikana. Do you dare face the horrors that lurk within these canyon walls? The ghosts, the ghouls, the, uh, exploding Pikachu thingies. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Potentially Undead Upskirt Simulator 2016. All right, so, so far in this game, we've saved the Deku Scrubs from being poisoned, the Gorons from being frozen, the Zoras from uh, not having good music, and now this guy wants me to worry about the dead? Uh, a buddy? If they're dead, I think they're past the point of helping. How bad does your life have to be for Melk Heist while wearing ghost masks to seem like a good business move? Funnily enough, the graveyard is the least spooky spot in all of Akana. I mean, at least this place has a white picket fence to keep out the neighbors. Hey there, guy that died in the last game. How you doing? I wonder what song I'll have to use for this one. Well, I can't really blame him. I mean, that's how I respond when I get woken up from a nap, too. Majora's Mask is one of the few games where being a furry actually gives you a tactical advantage. Luckily, this is only the second hardest skeleton boss I've had to fight this month. Skull Kita, I hardly knew her! <laughs> oh, oh, for God's sake. Cut this joke later. No, just, just skip the number. No, they won't notice. No one pays attention to what's up in the top left corner anyway. All right, you've done your duty, soldier. You can finally be at peace. Or, you know, just fall apart like that. Once again, I, Joshua McDougall, have proven myself to be a master of stealth. Either that or these guys are just f***ing idiots. All right. So there's an important artifact that I need down there, but this is a grave site, so we gotta be very respectful when we beat the bejesus out of that tombstone. Okay, last time I went under a graveyard, I just had to race the old dude from before. Now this time, you want me to fight Mr. Axe is totally compensating for something? I get too old for this. Like, a zoinks, it's a hipster ghost. Yeesh, who wrote this dialogue, Marilyn Manson? Wait, the song that you've put all of your emotions and frustrations and angst into is just three notes that get repeated? Dude, go back to Nickelback, will ya? So apparently the two things required to enter the land of the dead are A, a mask symbolizing the wandering spirits that haunt the canyon, and B, Spider-Man. All right, so the main thing I'm learning about spirits so far is that they're incredibly easy to trick with masks. Never mind. Now, I believe we gotta keep the sanctity of marriage. A man and a woman, a mummy and a daddy. And what's this house have? Four mummies. It's ridiculous. Hashtag vote for Trump. Ah, oh, man, now I know why you and your brother got so much beef. You tried to jack his mustache style, bruh. Not cool. <laughs> you think your music can kill me? <laughs> Bitch, I know the windmill song. Yo, professor, since I fixed your speaker system, can I hook up my iPod to your house? I just got the Hamilton soundtrack. This rap stuff's my jam at the moment. Now, if for some reason you ever need to lure a little girl out of her house in the middle of nowhere, there's a few tips I've picked up along the way that may be useful for you. Step one, don't. Step two, use explosives. Children love explosives. All right, let's just wander around the house a bit, see if we can steal anything nice, and whoa! Oh! <laughs> oh, that scared me for a minute there. That scared me! Tattle, you literally interrupt me every gosh darn minute. Don't you dare tell me I'm being insensitive. Wait, so every song of healing thing gives me crazy transformation powers, and this one just kinda gives me a lot of band-aids? All right. Yikes, I wish I could have come to this guy back when I was stuck in the forest temple. All right, so we're nearing the climax of the game. We've got the very last dungeon coming up. So what better way to keep the momentum going than having to give a bunch of mummies random items? Seriously, why is this dead dude want to fish? Ah, the mirror shield. In such a twisted Zelda game, it's almost refreshing to see a familiar and classic face. Oh my God, what's wrong with you? That's the face I make when I see a girl booby. All right, class, just keep concentrating and steadying those plies at... 
Did I say you could stop, Daryl? Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Joshua McDougal, Duck Hunt Master. I mean, I've never seen this ballet move before, but okay. Did someone at Nintendo lose a bet? Hey, Reggie, if the Broncos win the Super Bowl, you gotta make every single mini boss the same ugly looking wizard dude. I mean, this place almost certainly has historical value, but sure, let's just nuke the roof off it. Wait, what's happening? Oh no. Those curtains totally don't match the rest of the decor. Oh God, where's a conveniently shaped lamp to hide behind when you need it? No, but for real, this is the face I make when I see a girl booby. Uh, excuse me, 911. I'd like to report an MLG hacker, please. Two ancient boss enemies arguing after they've been defeated until they actually die. Never seen that one before. And I need to go inside a temple to stop a curse. This area is just filled to the brim with originality. But stone tower is an impenetrable stronghold. Hundreds of soldiers from my kingdom would not even be able to topple it. That's why I'm giving you the ability to hold down switches. Man, this thing looks weird. Almost haunted even. I just get the feeling that, that, I'm gonna get so many extra views from putting this bastard in the thumbnail. Ooh, give me that YouTube money. Nope, so much nope. You wanna combine block puzzles and heights? I'll tell you nope right to your face, Miyamoto. All right, the path is open, the way is clear, the stone tower temple's about to get spanked. But first, let's drink some refreshing milk. I've been trying to figure out this room for ages, but I think I finally figured out what the fu- Has anyone at Nintendo ever had it explained to them how mirrors work? Not. Like. That. I wish I had a stone mask in real life so I could ignore all of my problems there too. Please don't just be an arrow upgrade. Please don't just be an arrow upgrade. Please don't just be an arrow upgrade. Ah! <laughs> hey buddy. You got a bit of 16-bit Andros on your face. All right. I just need a bit of a breather from that temple. Like, juggling all these transformations is exhausting. How could they make this place any more complicated? Guys, I think that milk I had might have been a bit expired. Okay, come on! This dungeon has like four mini bosses. Why did they have to use this guy again? Again! Oh god, it's Ben Affleck! Giant's Mask? Will this thing make the new Attack on Titan season come out faster? Hey now, nobody told me this was a tag team match! I would have brought Tingle along! Or, you know, Tingle's dad. He's got big muscles. Smile, you son of a... I said smile, you son of a... Smile, you son of a... Oh, will you please just let me do my Jaws joke? Ladies and gentlemen, one last time. This is really what happens when I see a girl booby. The creators of RFC would just like to remind you to only use the giant's mask in small doses and visit your doctor if its effects last more than four hours. Or rather, don't, because you've only got like a day and a half left to live. So live it to the fullest. So this is my eSports highlight reel. As you can see, I got a really tactical approach to every enemy encounter I face and professionalism. Professionalism and tactics are what I pride myself on, most of all. Guys, we did it. That's the last dungeon of the game down. All we have to do now is confront Skull Kid and... Wait, what's happening? Did my game reset? Guys, I, I didn't do that. That wasn't me, I... Uh... What the heck is that smell? Oh, come on, Ben! Not cool! Hey there, did you enjoy this video? Then why not hit that like button and tell all your friends to subscribe. By now, like I've finished so many of these things by telling you to subscribe, I'm just assuming that you're subscribed like now. Like, you wouldn't keep watching my videos and not subscribe, would you? That'd be, that'd be rude. That, that'd be rude. I'd feel, I'd feel manipulated. I'd feel abused. You don't want to, you don't want to do that and if this is your first video from me, like, what are you doing, man? This is part six. It's part six of a series. You gotta, you gotta do those things sequentially. You gotta, you gotta know the arc and the progress. So go, go back and watch the other ones too. Like I got the 64 things wrong videos. I got the really freaking clever videos. Sometimes I even do like other ones, like just random stuff, whatever goes into my head. But like, you wouldn't watch the Star Wars out of order. You wouldn't watch episode four before episode one. Duh, you gotta start with the best one. You gotta start with the Phantom Menace. The best one, as I just said. <laughs> it's, it's got, it's the one of the memorable characters. You've got, you've got, uh, you got J.J. Abrams, 
uh, with with the he's the Misa J J Abrams guy. You got um six year old Sandman, who lives in a sand under the sea. Six year old Sandman. <laughs> SpongeBob. <laughs> what is this? <sighs> Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson's in that. Liam Neeson's a uh, he's a good actor. He had that movie with the wolves. I think that that's the best Star Wars movie, the one with the wolves. Has there ever been wolves in Star Wars? I guess in episode two they're in the they're in the arena thing and it's like it's an alien wolf obviously not an actual wolf but it's close to a wolf or a bear maybe closer to a bear that's the revenant that's that's the bear one not the wolf one Leonardo DiCaprio's never been in Star Wars either they're missing out. <laughs> 